St Vincent de Paul is honouring one of its oldest and longest serving volunteers, Tom Fisher. For 55 years, the great-grandfather has been donating his time to help others, even while he's battling cancer. Tom Fisher is the archives man of St Vincent de Paul's. At 94 years old, he's been volunteering for more than half his life. When I go to bed at night time, my last thought should be not how much enjoyment did I get today, but how much enjoyment did I bring to others. The Osborne Park great-grandfather first started his charity work while he was in the Navy. The HMAS Sydney crewman delivered parcels of food to poor Maltese families on Christmas Day 1940. I thought to myself, if I get out of this war, I will join the Sabinti Paul one day. For 55 years, he's been working at the Vinnie's headquarters and his wife Shirley opens up their home to others. She invites people home for afternoon tea, like usually no pensioners and that. Loneliness is a poverty and it's there. I don't think people realise how great it is. Tom Fisher even has his own city corner for the annual street appeal. I was there from nine o'clock to three o'clock and I slept well that night. <laughs> God willing, I hope to do it this year too. He'll have different ailments and he'll be sick and he still wants to just come and do what he does and he has such a passion for helping people. To honour his work, a new homeless centre being built in Mount Lawley has been named after him and we gave Tom a special tour. I never ever thought in my lifetime that they name a homeless place after me. Yeah. Is it a bit emotional to see something like this? It was, a, yeah. it was the beginning, but I thought the emotion was it's doing some good for some old people. Tom Fisher House will be completed by the end of the year. The multi-million dollar facility will have 10 bedrooms. Tom hopes to be at the official opening but has revealed he's battling prostate cancer. He's determined to keep volunteering until the very end. I'm still here doing it. <laughs> I'll do it till they cut me out in a box. <laughs> Tracy Vaux, Nine News.